good morning to you all friends uh prof dr kedi nayak dg of drdo ms shubhra singh joint secretary in dipp mr martin lechner krishnamurthy ji vinay shenoy ji vidya shankar ji my friends ladies and gentlemen this invitation was given to me when i was working in a different capacity as secretary of department of electronics and it and when i joined this new assignment i told vidya shankar ji and his colleagues that it may not be probably appropriate for me to participate in this function at this juncture and my successor in office or somebody from department of electronics and it should really legitimately participate but then they said okay you you should go ahead please come and and therefore basically i am doubling up for or i am sort of representing the department of electronics and it uh, at this function and i don't see anybody from the it here on the stage or off the stage so i am also a little surprised because uh, when you talk of electronics manufacturing i think the basic policy making body is department of electronics and it of course dipp is the overall uh, department or institution to set up the policies relating to and shubhra was telling me that there is a specific uh, division which she heads in the dipp which looks after the electronics in the defense sector so i think there are strong institutions in the government which are looking after the sector but the overall electronics policy uh, work is being done by the department of electronics and it and i think they should have uh, been here and what i'll do is that i'll in some sense say what i remember from my previous um, sort of post as to what are the broad policies uh, of department of electronics and it which promote uh, the investments in the esdm and electronics sector because i think broadly Uh, all of us know that the investment in electronics manufacturing has not taken place in this country to the extent it should have taken place and i am sure uh, you should be aware all of you who are expert in this field must be aware that the current demand of electronic product is of the order of 100 billion dollars annually and it is expected that in the next 5, 5 or 6 years this demand will go to become as large as 400 billion dollars in defense alone as you know this mr shenoy told that this is about 20 billion dollars only in electronics so this 400 billion dollars and currently our production levels or if you can say domestic value addition is minuscule so about 5 billion maybe 10 billion as the be at the best that's what we are doing and if we just even at the ratio we keep on growing so 10 will become 40 if 100 becomes 400 so 40 billion out of 400 is is really nothing and then you will end up importing as much as 360 billion per annum and that is completely unsustainable you just cannot sustain those kinds of imports so really this country has no option but to go for domestic manufacturing electronics manufacturing this is the only way left for the country i mean there is no this is not a something which you have any choice on of course if you want to don't want to do it then the obvious thing will be that you will not be able to import and therefore you will have to reduce your demand and that is very difficult if you want progress in the country you can't sort of uh, sort of reduce your demand on electronics electronics is there in everything you know you start from your your day starts and from your day till you go to sleep you will find that electronics is you deal with electronics your car is electronics your kitchen is electronics your everything your room is electronics so there are lo whole lot of things so this is one sector which cannot be sort of wished away and if you want to do that there are you know government of india has had policies in the past also and what i have seen and i was also in the department of electronics and it since last about 15 16 months i have really seen a wonderful growth and excitement in the last 5 6 months i mean we have been promoting and we have been going around our minister who is not here our minister himself has 
led a number of delegations to different countries where we have been trying to tell them as to what our policies are in terms of promoting the domestic manufacturing of electronics. And a and, and, and lot of excitement has happened since then. But I am finding the last three, four months, there's a real investment has started coming in. And, and biggest measurement of that is, you know, as, as Mr. Shinoy was mentioning, there's a policy, MSIPS, Modified Special Incentive Package, which talks about giving 25% capital subsidy on investments in the electronics manufacturing. And we find that in the last about a year, we have got the proposal worth about 20,000 crores plus investment proposals. Which means, and, and in fact, if you just break it down, the graph has been going very, very steep. Which means that there's a tremendous investment, tremendous interest which is coming. I'm also seeing that progressively the states are becoming absolutely aggressive in terms of ensuring that the industry comes up in that area. So you find policies, you know, while Government of India has a number of policies, the states are also topping up many of these benefits and attracting the, the people who want to invest and who want to manufacture. So actually the time is absolutely ripe at this moment where we can make big investments in the domestic electronics manufacturing sector. Just to give you a flavor, which Mr. Shinoy has already spoken about, the flavor of the kind of facilities which Government of India is offering, one is the MSIPS. And MSIPS, as you know, was coming to an end on in July, 17th July to be precise. And uh, that has been extended for another five years. So that's a huge, you know, kind of continuity as also a certainty in future that this is this is scheme or this project, uh, this pr facility is going to continue. So that's one part. Secondly, there is another scheme of electronics manufacturing cluster, where if you have a greenfield cluster, you have provided 50% of the money for developing common infrastructure like roads and processing facilities, etc., common testing facilities. In brownfield cluster, you have subsidy of the order of 75%, and there are a number of greenfield clusters which, which the government has approved in the last one year. I am aware of about 23 of them or, or 11 of them. I'm not sure about the numbers, but, uh, but a number of uh, you know, these clusters are coming up. Uh, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Maharashtra, a number of states are actually going in to have these, these clusters. Most importantly, the manpower support, you know, the, the Department of Electronics and IT has schemes starting from the soft floor training till the PhDs in electronics. In fact, the PhD scheme has become so popular that we had to increase the budget in the current fiscal itself to actually cater to more requirements and demands. And what is happening is the way it is being implemented is that if somebody is putting up an industry in a particular area, and he, that industry owner, wants that I would like PhDs in this particular subsector of electronics. We will actually be able to fund those, uh, those uh, PhD and scholarships to the institutions, and they are top class institutions. And this will basically be able to provide them the kind of manpower which they require. So trained manpower availability is one of the things which this policy in the government of India is ensuring. Then, on the f fact that electronics, suppose you, you can't imitate China, you can't kind of say that this is a vanilla electronics manufacturing. Today, electronics is, is actually software and hardware combined, and I'm very happy that IESA and NASCOM have signed together this uh, you know, MOU where they are uh, collaborating together, and that's absolutely necessary. Because if you really want to have a value add, if you really want to have some intellectual value into this, you should not be doing just the manufacturing in a vanilla sense. You should be doing a real IPR creation and manufacturing and systems on chip and all those kind of concepts. So this is another area where the government of India has this policy called electronic development fund. And, and I think they are in the final stage of finalizing the agency which will actually implement that fund. And initially, the idea is that we should have 10,000 crores in this fund, which actually will, will, will be provided to the venture capital funds. And the government of India will take position in those funds, which will be 
you know, sort of funding the uh, startups and other kinds of uh, industry initiatives in the electronics manufacturing sector, both in the software and hardware. So therefore, that's also, once that facility starts happening, then there will be a certain spurt in the startup. Of course, even without that funding, there are starts up, startups which are coming, and our prime minister has been emphasizing on this. On the 15th August speech, he talked about you know, a startup India. So those, those things are happening. So we have a sh overall range of A, policies, incentives, subsidies, states getting excited, manpower provision, uh, innovation funds. So all these policies are converging together to ensure. And of course, you have the preferential market access. Because it's not only the policies which will just be sort of incentivizing the manufacturing, they are also ensuring that you have preferential access to the market. And, and sometimes people confuse, they think that you know preferential market access is only for the domestic manufacturers. Yes, it is for domestic manufacturers. But it is for all manufacturers who are manufacturing domestically, including the multinationals and, and other companies. So we are not really going by who is manufacturing. Anybody who is manufacturing in India is a domestic manufacturer. And therefore, he shall, he, they shall be entitled for these preferential market access. So this is also exciting a number of players in the market where they are saying that now we will bring in and, and recently you are aware about, about a month back, Foxconn came and you know, they, they, they are investing and they are exploring. I, I, I'm not sure as to what point it has reached, but there is a huge excitement and, and they, they are uh, going to invest in big way. So I think overall the scenario is extremely positive. There is a huge excitement. And there are conditions also which are favoring this. You know, we have now tremendous advantages in terms of many, many parameters which are required for industrial investment of this type. So I think overall time is today very, very ripe for investments in the sector. And of course, I talked of general electronic sector. I'm not too familiar with the specifics of the defense uh, electronics. But I think it should be more or less similar, or maybe there are some specificities that also can be addressed. So the whole idea is that we should, we should all come together. And as I said in the beginning, this is a necessity. This is not a luxury for our country. Unfortunately, what has happened over the years is we have ignored many of these areas. Content creation, you know, we have been good at becoming coolies. We have been good at becoming laborers. So we are providing, you know, 54% of the world's ITES and IT services in the whole world, and, and we are doing all BPO jobs and all kinds of jobs. But I think these are some of the areas which we have ignored and we need to really catch up. And, and fortunately, because now this area has become a niche area where software and hardware is getting combined, and we seem to have tremendous USP in the software field. In fact, all our intellectual properties are being created in India by boys and girls in Bangalore. Unfortunately, the advantage of these being taken by somebody else sitting outside the country, but that's uh, unfortunately the case and that probably needs to change. Where if our boys and girls are making intellectual property contributions, our country must get that. Our, 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 they, they should get that uh, credit and that should happen. And that I think will happen once we all join hands together to make uh, the domestic electronics manufacturing a reality. Thank you very much.